Life is difficult, is how M. Scott Peck began his book, The Road Less Traveled. And he is right, life is difficult, but not all the time or every day for most of us. However, the challenge facing all of us is how to live a good life in face of what John Kabat-Zinn called the full catastrophe, which is our uniquely human awareness of the fragility of life itself. Yes, life is difficult, but it can also be grand. In fact, for most of us, if we really think about it, our moment-to-moment -moment existence is okay, even good, and at times even wonderful. And yet our own thinking and choices can rob us of life's goodness. For example, we can be walking through a lovely park on a gorgeous fall day, but not enjoying any of the beauty around us because we're obsessively worrying about things we cannot control. Or we can meet the right person to be a partner for life, but then push that person away out of fear of being hurt. Life is inherently stressful, but we're not powerless because much of the stress is caused by our own thinking and choices. And that's the good news because it means we can learn more effective ways to reduce stress by being more mindful of our thoughts and decisions. Maladaptive coping, a common source of stress we bring on ourselves, is when the very way we cope with stress actually creates more stress in the long run. So why would people keep trying to cope that way? Well, it's because maladaptive coping gives some short-term relief from stress which is why it can be so addictive. But in the long run, it creates more pain. Relying on maladaptive coping can lead to becoming caught up in a stress reaction cycle, which eventually can affect physical and mental health and even lead to breakdown and death. So what is an example of maladaptive coping? Well, John works a stressful job, and when he comes home after a long day, he drinks himself numb tuning out his family, ignoring his feelings, and never learning to manage stress effectively. Eventually, his maladaptive coping with alcohol alienates his family and negatively affects his health and career, so John becomes increasingly stressed over time. But abusing alcohol is not the only maladaptive way of coping. Here are some other examples. Being a shopaholic, compulsive gambler, workaholic, chronic emotional eater, constant thrill seeker, drug abuser, blameaholic, compulsive codependent, chronic avoider, Pollyanna thinker, or any compulsive behavior that is used to avoid dealing directly with uncomfortable feelings or situations. Yes, buying a brand new smartphone that I can't afford may give me some short-term relief from my stress, but in the long run, I now have more stress because I can't pay my mortgage. As you can see, maladaptive coping is seductive. It makes us feel better in the moment, but eventually it kicks us in the ass when all the problems and pain we've been ignoring can no longer be distracted away. So how do we escape being caught up in a stress reaction cycle? Well, we must learn to acknowledge the stressors in our life and then develop effective coping strategies for reducing stress both in the short run and the long run. So John might learn to meditate or exercise to deal with the stress when he comes home from work, which not only gives short-term relief, but also long-term benefits. If you'd like help learning more effective coping skills for stress, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about me and the online services I provide. If you find this video helpful, please click the thumbs up button. And if you want to hear more from me, then click the subscribe button at the bottom right corner of the screen. I'll be publishing at least one new video every month. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.